Hey, what's up guys? Ricky Bush Racing here. Today we're doing something just for fun. We're comparing the Formula A against the IndyCar, the road version with the Honda engine. So we're going to do this on three different tracks. First off, we got an Indy track in Long Beach. Then we'll head over to Spielberg or Red Bull Ring for an F1 track. Then we're gonna settle this on, yes, you guessed it, Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca for the decider. Uh, I have my money on the Formula A to be faster here, but I may be wrong. But let's find out. Here we go, guys. So, first out, we have the IndyCar, which is the DW12, which is a 2016 spec IndyCar, which is a lot newer than the 2011 F1 car that we have in Project Cars 2, but they really are a lot alike. They're about the same size, they produce the same amount of horsepower, almost, but only one of the cars is a blast to drive around Long Beach, and it's the Indy car. I'll get to that later, to why that is, but it's just a blast to drive around here. I've said it before, Long Beach is one of the best tracks in Project Cars 2, at least in my opinion, the most well done tracks in Project Cars 2. It actually looks exactly like real life. But coming back to the Indy car here, it feels really good around here. It, the way the car sticks to the road, you can really feel the downforce coming through the wheel. It's just very easy to handle and it's a lot easier than the Formula A to drive around here, that's for sure. I think I did this lap in my second or third try ever with this car on this track. The Formula A I did, I don't know, 10 laps maybe before I could get a solid lap in. So, But with the IndyCar around Long Beach I did a lap of 110.900. So here we have it guys, the Formula A, with the baseline setup, which is in no way whatsoever suited for Long Beach. The car is almost undrivable around here, it's just, it's in desperate need of downforce. Mainly rear end downforce, the car loses grip entering and exiting a corner, it's almost impossible to get on throttle exiting a corner without spinning, spinning out, it's just that hard. But sometimes hard is fun. I like a good challenge, as you almost see me uh, spin out exiting a corner there, but you can also see me use DRS here along the straightaways, you see the rear wing going down. Uh, if you forget to put it up again when entering a corner, you're, it's instant death, for sure. The car, that little amount of downforce this car actually has, you need every bit of it, which is kind of strange. Obviously the 2011 spec F1 cars are a lot different than today's F1 car which has a lot more downforce but I still feel like this car lacks downforce in general. But it did a lap time around Long Beach of 1 minute 11 second 0 .080. Then let's see what the record looks like. I picked up a 78th position here with the IndyCar a lot more competition in the IndyCar around here. I actually got a 7th place in the F1 here as we move on to Red Bull Ring. I was kind of surprised going around Red Bull Ring in the IndyCar here how much fun this car is to drive. I actually like the IndyCar a lot more than the Formula A and that's probably pretty simple because you can really tell that Stifle Mad Studio spent time making this car. It feels a lot better than the Formula A. Which feels like an exact copy of the car from Project Cars 1, but I know Stifle Mad Studios was given a pit side seat at the 100th Indy 500 in 2016, and they were given access to basically all the data that Smith Peterson Motorsport could provide. And that included tire wear, tire pressures, boost, engine mapping, and so on and so on. So. They spent their time with this car and it tells, it really does. The IndyCar around Spielberg or Red Bull Ring here is actually a pretty good combo. Red Bull Ring which is now owned by Red Bull, or has been owned by Red Bull since 2011 if I'm not wrong, but it's just an amazing track, it really is, it has that great flow to it and I really enjoy racing here and it's just a fun track making hot laps around. <laughs> Uh, but the IndyCar was pretty fast around here as well, which didn't come as a surprise to me. It did a lap time around here of 1 minute 18.767. 
So we're in the death machine again. Uh, once again, I had to do a couple of laps before getting a lap together here as well. It's just so easy to lose the rear entering a corner here on Red Bull. It's just no balance whatsoever to this car in this game. I don't know what they did to it. I remember I drove it on the Nordschleife, but. I changed the downforce levels, mainly the rear downforce levels, and the car behaved kind of good on Norsklife, but around these tracks it's just... it's hard. Very hard. And not as rewarding as the IndyCar is drive. As you see me losing the rear entering a corner once again there. Uh, but like I said before, this is the 2011 Spec F1 car, which is also the year they added DRS. Uh, but here in Project Cars 2, there are no restrictions on where you can use it, so you really has have to use it as much as you can, which makes this even more difficult than it is. Because once you open that DRS, the car is, gets even more unstable. But the thing sounds amazing, it really does. It has that old V8, the 2.4 liter V8 that sounds like a rocket ship or something, sounds amazing. And it's quicker than the Indy car around here. It did a lap time of 1 minute 18 seconds, 0.142. So coming back to the world records here, I actually managed the fifth place in the IndyCar, which isn't that strange. Nobody drives the IndyCar around Red Bull Ring. Uh, and I 45th place with the uh, Formula A here, which is kind of slow, to be honest. But yeah, on we go to Laguna Seca. Just like the other tracks, the Formula A is hard to drive around here. It took me like... This is a track I really enjoy and I have driven a million laps around. It still took me five or six laps to uh, to get the solid lap in with this car. It's just... Ah, oh, it's so damn hard putting down power. And the ones that have been watching my videos know that I like Laguna Seca. Probably my favorite track along with the Nordschleife. It's just another really beautiful place in real life and a really fun track to race on. Uh, and I thought it would be a good decider since neither the Formula 1 or the Indy races here nowadays, so it's a pretty good track to settle this duel on. As you see me coming through the famous corkscrew here, which is a place where I spun out a couple of times recording uh, footage for this video or doing my laps around here. But I gotta say the Formula A on Master Raceway Laguna Seca is probably the best combo out of the three tracks I've driven for this test. Uh, and it's pretty quick around here as well. It did a lap time of 1 minute, 13 seconds, 0 0.038. So now we move on to the last lap of this video. And the Indy car is a blast to drive around Master Raceway Laguna Seca as well. Just like the other two tracks. It's a car that really has grown on me and hopefully I can find some online races to, uh, to try this car out and see how it races against other online competitors, I guess. That will probably be a wreck fest though, but maybe we can get some uh, social races in the AOR to just have some fun with it. I'm no big fan of IndyCar. I, sh I, I shouldn't say I'm no big fan, I just don't know a lot about IndyCar. Uh, I'm gonna blame that that I'm European. I'm a huge F1 fan, but it still intrigues me. I'd love to see a, a IndyCar race at some point in my life. I'd love to go to Long Beach and see an IndyCar race there, or even Sonoma would be a blast as well. Either way, we're about to wrap this duel up and see who the winner is here. I guess you probably figured it out by now. I was wrong. I thought the Formula A would be quicker around these tracks, but it's mainly because of the setup though. The Indy did a 1 minute 10 seconds 0.900 around Master Raceway. As you see the record screens here for the Formula A around Master Raceway, I picked up an 8th place, which is alright, I guess. The competition for the IndyCar around here was a lot harder though, so I picked up a 49th place. Which isn't record breaking, but that's not what this video was about. It was about the Formula A against the IndyCar, and in conclusion, I'd say the IndyCar setup is spot on, while the Formula A setup is pretty bad and just needs a lot more downforce, at least for these tracks. Uh, enjoyed driving both, but the IndyCar is by far my favorite of the two. 
Thank you for watching guys as always. I'll see you next week for a lead race in AOR GT3 Pro around Algarve, which should be interesting to say the least. Uh, but I'll see you then. Bye.